Thank you so much for all of this. I am, um, I guess we should probably finish it up and get on our way. You in a hurry? Because I'm not. I, I like having you here. I enjoy your company. Well, I have a personal belief that no one should ever have to dine alone. Well, lucky me. <laughs> well, I could just sit here all day if I didn't have a dozen phone calls to make. I know how that goes. <laughs> I would imagine you're a pretty busy man. Okay. I know you were waiting for someone when I showed up. Who would have the audacity to stand you up? Well, I didn't get stood up. It's just, uh, it was Ava, you know, the one that you met at the, my place. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, I, I, I brought her here. I said something she didn't like, and she got upset. She stormed off, so um, she missed out, but uh, I didn't. Well, it was a lovely meal, and the conversation was equally so. It's amazing how that works. <laughs> Do you think things will have calmed down by the time you get home? My home, not Ava's. You see, I brought, I brought her and my daughter, Avery, to my home because, basically for uh, Avery's sake. But at first it worked out, and now it's not really. Yeah. No, I get it. I get it. I mean, when a, when a relationship is ending or transitioning, I mean, that's hard enough, but when kids are involved, it's just so complicated. Sounds like you've been through it. Yeah. Well, my husband and I are separated. Uh -huh. That's Allison's father, and then I have a son from a previous relationship. Remember I told you that my family's complicated? Mm hmm <laughs> Life's a long and winding road. Oh, <laughs> full of all kinds of paths and forks not taken. Uh. <laughs> well, I do hope that that it's a little calmer when you get back. Well, either that or I'm, you know, I'm gonna go home to an empty apartment. <laughs> Ava could be packing as we speak, but as long as we, we, we sip this coffee really slowly, it will give her enough time, you know? Okay. <laughs> Some of the print Maybe you should go home and talk to Ava and try to resolve things. You know what? It, it, I was being flip. Ava was fine. We just got in a stupid argument. Mm -hmm. I was invited to go to some uh, social event. She wasn't invited. I couldn't push it because it was the bride's family calling shots. It was a wedding, right? So then I didn't even know Ava wanted to go. And then she says she wants to go. I made it clear. You can't go. And then she, you know, got upset stormed off like i said and that's basically that yeah i mean but i i get it i i empathize you know it's a pretty terrible feeling feeling like you're being excluded who would exclude you <laughs> <laughs> well thank Come on, you that's... but um you know i am a newbie in a new town and it's a town that's got a very tight-knit social set so you know Allison's going to uh, her manager's wedding, and, and, you know, she might even be performing. I don't even know. And so, you know, obviously, Christina is her plus one, so I miss out. Brooklyn Quartermain's wedding? Mm -hmm. That's what I was talking about.